welcome back to the episode of Last Day on Earth 3 to play today. We're returned, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and we are on a mission to continue knocking out and hopefully getting our hands on some incredible loot via the season pass as we continue working our way through the early parts of Last Day on Earth without dropping a dime on the gosh darn game. Hopefully, we can get our hands on this free tactical bag back in the not too distant future. Not to mention that we are also in the midst of knocking out none other than a little something known as the survival guide. And there are some tasks we're also going to be wanting. No, English is hard. Wanting to knock out for this today to continue getting some good loot along the way. And some of those involve us going to the most dangerous location we've got on to to this date what am i talking about none other ladies and gentlemen boys and girls than the crooked creek farm and that's something that we are going to want to bring some ranged weaponry to but we're not going to be bringing out our best ranged weaponry we're not bringing out the pistols we're not bringing out the shotguns we're going to just bring out the winchester because we don't got to get too crazy here because we are going to this location with a very very specific purpose in mind i want to hunt, hunt down the boss that normally would be awaiting us over at this location so without further ado over to the global map we go let's see what that's all about and also just want to remind you guys that i'm giving away a 25 dollar itunes slash play store gift card all you gotta do is download jurassic world alive using my link at the very tippity top of the description and the pinned comment i'm gonna be picking a winner at the end of may just hit level seven by the end of may and then join my alliance or send me a friend request more details in the pinned comment and in the description and no worries if you can't join my alliance we are always making room for y'all to go ahead and join out and just make sure that you are staying active so looking forward to hopefully meeting y'all on the battlefield and the best Best of luck taming some of the most magnificent beasts you will feast your eyes upon. So the Crooked Creek Farm, ladies and gentlemen, is where we are going to. You can see some of the awesome rewards we can get here depending on our luck, including even incredible things like the chopper parts, but also the thing that I am very interested in is the fact that there's a boss awaiting us there, and the boss that awaits us here will be a great way for us to get some experience that we need for the uh, premium season, not the premium pass. Unfortunately, we don't have the premium, man. I wish that'd be awesome but for the season pass we're gonna head on over here we'll also be sure to stop by some of the other things around these parts such as none other than the airdrop here as you are seeing and also we gotta we gotta actually make a pit stop over the watchtower too for a quest that we got going on and we got all sorts of nonsense going on today man tons of stuff to do we're gonna be busy bees without further ado let's get to freaking flapping our wings and getting to work and that work begins with the crooked creek farm and actually a bit of a change of pace here at the, for the crooked creek farm back in the day when you would come here for the very first time you would actually need to repair a bridge in order to access this farm. That is no longer the case. You can actually access this farm now completely for free. Except for the fact that you got to kill zombies and stuff. That ain't free, but you can access it. Let's go. We can get our hands on a little, like, poster over here as well. I will happily take that because there is a little event going on right now over here on the calendar. We're picking up these posters throughout random locations. We'll get us some good stuff. Actually, I should stop by the motel. I think there's going to be some posters awaiting us there as well. But this is really, really good because if we pop over to... Not the cook, not the commune, but the collector... We just got our hands on a puppy, which I'll happily go ahead and take. And depending on the posters we continue to find, there are some really awesome prizes we get literally for free, which I am very happy to be collecting. And yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. I was mistaken. We do have to still repair this. Maybe they just made it cheaper. Okay. I lied. We got to repair this bridge. I think it's just cheaper. I think it used to take like more hammers or something. I caramba. All right. Well, we'll have to repair this at some point. At that point, uh... <laughs> will not be right now unfortunately but i think we knocked out a quest just for visiting the farm so like hey i'll take that and I'll also take some stuff inside of this uh car while we are at it as well hopefully something good big money no whammy big money no whammy let's go dude are you kidding me I'll, 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 i will happily take after a body m16 uh, straight to the bank let's really quickly just make sure that there are not any posters over on this side of the river because i feel like there might be you never know always good to check with this little event going on no posters all right back to the world map we go why don't we pop on over to man if we can't go here i think our best bet we got an airdrop literally right next to the door let's go swing by that and then after we swing by the next door airdrop we also got the motel Definitely could be some good stuff over there, especially if we're going to be looting it for the first time. Then we'll go ahead and uh, hit up some locations. Hello, Mr. Airdrop. Don't mind if I make my way over to you and hopefully collect some of the goodies you have awaiting me. And then over to the motel for the first time, man. I don't think there's any quests we get or any uh, survival guide points that we get for knocking out the motel, but we'll get some stuff, so I'll happily take that. But uh, hopefully not, there's having an absolutely fan freaking fantastic day of the most basic variety that only keeps on getting better from here on out. Whether that be from the video, bring you a smile, bring you a giggle, anything or everything like that. It does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way into your day today. I'm 
fingers crossed my fingers that indeed do. That's exactly what the joy do do because nothing else brings a smile to my face like no one. Then hopefully I might be able to bring one of yours in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And oh baby, we are gonna have uh, multiple ways of taking down some of these enemies. Hopefully no toxic spitters come running at me from five miles away. And look at that, a toxic spitter running at me from five miles away. Who the thunk? Not me. Doesn't matter. You're dead. Nonetheless, we'll go and get a sneak attack on this other fella over here because sneak attacking enemies is literally the greatest thing ever for an early game player because triple damage. And if you play your cards right, you can actually kill some enemies without ever taking a hit back in exchange, which is a pretty good deal. If you ask me now, okie dokie, artichoke. We do have another zombie over here, probably just a roaming zombie. This thing will be a one hitter quitter. Uh, see you later, alligator. You, my friend, are donezo. Let's see what's up inside of the airdrop. Hopefully, if we're lucky, maybe like a pistol, maybe like a saw blade base. Hopefully, there's some sort of more powerful type of weapon. Please, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy. Let's go, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and I, I don't need any more bunker alpha cards after you open it up for the first time, so I'll get rid of that. Only five caps. Honestly, I will not take five caps, or I don't know. Maybe I'll. Oh, no, 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 no. We do not want to be attacked. Well, we are looting this place. All right. I will take you down over there. Whew. Had me breathing a little bit there. Not well. I mean, I'm, I'm always breathing, but I had me breathing a little bit harder than usual there. I'll just leave the rope behind. I got a good chunk of rope uh, back at base, so I'm not too concerned about that. I am not really going to be looting the rest of the zone. We could collect some berries and stuff like that, but honestly, no priority number one. Our inventory's already filled up with some of the stuff that we have looted. So I'll just go ahead and take down some zombies around the outskirts so we can just sneak attack and get easy peasy kills on. Then we'll pop on out. Since our inventory is full, we will not swing by the motel. We will instead just go straight home to drop the stuff off and take things from there. Actually, you know what? While we're at it, uh, let's swing by freaking dig site echo one it's on the way home and we definitely could hopefully knock out at least because here's the thing this 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 event does get a little bit harder the more you go on but honestly i think we should be able to like knock out at least the first level of this relatively easily so let's do that and see how it goes and if we die here, I mean, we get all of our stuff back, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah, it's on our way home. YOLO, let's freaking do it. It's not like there's necessarily a lot of loot that we collect from this location, but it's more so just uh, killing waves of zombies and taking things from there. So dig site echo on. How you doing, baby? Say hello to your voice star. Hi, it's me. Hello, hello. Load on up and show me what you got, baby. So let's go and talk to this foreman fella that should be awaiting us somewhere here, probably closer to... Yeah, there you are. Hi, I could use some of your help. Sure thing, man. Happy to help and uh, do a little bit of damage here. Let's see what we can do. We extract the mineral from zombies. Then we use it to produce a special alloy. So I've heard. So I've heard. Hopefully I could open up uh, some of those alloy crates that you get me to. This is a dangerous affair. Noises attract zombies. Okay. Well, I'm ready to uh, take down these zombies. I ain't too worried. Oh, look at that. A zombie destroying that thing. That already seems pretty destroyed. Hold the line. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you, like, do most of the damage to that guy. Because he can just do most of the damage to that guy. And then I'll swoop in last second and get the finishing kill so I get the experience for it. Because, listen, I'm not wasting my weapon durability on this, man. If you got a helper helping you out, you got to capitalize upon it. And guess what, baby? Uh, call me the first letter of a sentence because I'm capitalizing on this as much as humanly possible. Hello, Floda. Floda! Boom! Took him down easy peasy. We'll go ahead and repair this generator uh, from there. And then hopefully, I forget, does he uh, give us like resources to begin with that we could use to like build turrets and stuff? We should work on our defense. Maybe build a turret or something. Let's go. Sure thing, man. Show me the ropes. I'm ready to go. There's everything we could use for defense. I gotta eat up a little bit of uh, jerky here. I gotta get some water too, because I'm getting a little bit on the thirsty side. There are resources left in the storage. Try to build something out of them. Let's go! Why do we get some resources to begin with right off the bat? Love uh, to see that. Let's get over here into building mode. And honestly, I think our best bet is just gonna be building uh, some of these shotgun turrets. And then, uh, I mean, I don't even want to necessarily build the spikes because like that is like some free nails and stuff we could be like missing out on. But you know what? I'll build them, man. They're there. Might as well put them to use. That's exactly what I will do. And there you have it. I built those things. Great. This will definitely help in defense. Because I know we can also purchase some of those materials. But I don't think they're quite for sale yet. This is our refinery. It's in poor condition. Yeah, so I figured. Hello, kitty cat. How are you doing? I like how the cat's like a little green icon on the map. See, we can be fixed up to speed work. Okay. Uh, good to know. Good to know. What else? Uh, what else you got for me here, bud, huh? It works for now. Here, try to launch it. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to get more resources because normally you can buy some more from him, but I think we got to kind of clear out this first wave at first and foremost. So we can also repair this to speed it up uh, and unlock higher levels too, but I don't know if in our free-to-play account if that's going to be the best bet. But even getting the grenades from doing this event for the first time, like, dude, I will take that all freaking day long, man. Like, I, what, what do we get? Two grenades? That'll come in handy. That's two just huge hordes of zombies we can take out via explosives. So, uh, yeah, I'll happily 
uh, be taking that. I gotta get some water too while we're at it. All right, well, whatevs. Let's go over here. Zombies max health is increased. Of course it is. Whatever. Let's send it. Let's see how this freaking goes. Hopefully our turtle over here is able to do a good job. Cause I'm gonna be completely honest, man. I am not gonna be contributing much. I literally have a crowbar and I do not intend on using much more than that. Dude, how do they have like 240 health, man? How are these zombies this powerful? Well, if they break through our defenses, uh, goodness gracious, man. It, I truly forgot how much harder they made this event. I really don't want to waste my weapon durability on taking these fellas down. I, I might just honestly let this defense go down because I really do not want to waste this. Okay, hold up. I'll take you down over there. Okay, if you can, like, attack the floater bloater, I'm going to try to, like, distract them a little bit. I mean, hopefully this is... No, there's another wave of zombies coming. Of course there is, dude. They have way too much health, man. I'm just going to let them destroy this because, honestly, nah. Not even worth the weapons we would have to invest into this. Maybe if I could build up some more turrets, but I'm, I'm just going to run around like a chicken with my head cut off and try to distract these folks. That is my game plan. I do not want to uh, freaking waste my heals or anything like that. Just destroy the darn thing already. I definitely was not prepared for this. I was just curious. I was a bit too curious of a cat. All right. This is what this is what this is one of my nine lives. And obviously, I'm probably losing it. So, okay, you know what? Well, there you go. That did not go well. Don't worry. We work like this every day. You'll get used to it. Yeah, okay. But now that we have failed that, that's actually good. Great job. But that's not all. Great job. I died. What do you mean, great job? <laughs> What are you talking about? We'll need rare parts to repair the refinery. Uh-huh. And you sell those to me in exchange for those minerals. If I'm not mistaken, bring me necessary minerals in exchange for parts. Deal? There you go. So here's the thing. This is what I was talking about. We want to buy some of these things so we can then build these turrets. Although the turrets do require iron ingots. And honestly, I don't really know if I want to be spending iron ingots this early. So I'll just go ahead. Destroy all this stuff. And honestly, man. I'll just like, if you have any leftover iron ingots, I'll just bring those home. <laughs> you know? I might have been a little bit too early for this. I'm in the phase where I'd rather stockpile all this stuff than uh, just necessarily give it away. You know what I mean? But uh, anyways, I'll come back for like these nails and iron because that's actually pretty nifty. Actually, I might just grab the nails now. I'll, I, I will come back. Oh, I can't freaking get rid of... Oh, of course I can't. Okay. Uh, I'll leave the scrap metal behind. I'm going to grab the nails for now. Honestly, nails will definitely come in handy. And we're going to go drop the stuff off at base. I'll come back for the rest of the stuff. I'm definitely not going to be leaving it behind. Uh, but we'll meet back at base. And also, while we're at it, let's go ahead and craft another small box, too, because I'm already starting to run out of inventory room yet again. But that's a good problem to have, because that means we're stockpiling up on a lot of loot. In early game, you just want to get literally as much loot as humanly possible, so you can kind of start putting it to use as the necessary situations uh, pop up. Let's go and grab that jerky for now, and then I'll go ahead and rock the crowbar as well, kind of like my weapon of choice uh, for the moment. And then we got our inventory ready and rearing to go back out on some more adventure. And that also reminds me, we probably want to go and raid a base or something while we're at it too. So why don't we go and actually craft up some level one and level two hatchets. Level two hatchets we should be able to go ahead and do with a combination of nails, wooden planks. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Nails, wooden planks, duct tape, and then a fourth thing that I'm drawing a blank on. Iron ingots. That is what I'm looking for. I should have some iron ingots up in one of these chests because there's no way I don't have a stockpile of iron ingots after all of this hoarding that I have been doing thus far. Yet they appear to be evading me. What in the heck? All right, well, here is the duct tape that we are looking for. And then I guess iron ingots wise, I mean, I have been crafting a few over here. I'm actually shocked that I do not have some iron ingots in one of my chests. Maybe though, I have them awaiting me over here in my inbox from one of the things that we have knocked out. And the answer is maybe, yes. All right, we got like five more iron bars over there. That should be enough to literally craft one level iron hatchet. Okay, hold on. I was kind of hoping for more than one iron hatchet. Really? That's all I can craft right now? I don't really want to schmelt down the scrap metal into iron either, because scrap metal kind of ends up being useful on its own. Oy vey, man. That is actually a tad bit on the annoying side of things. But you know what? So be it. I suppose those are the punches that we got to go ahead and roll with. Let's get to crafting up this iron hatchet uh, for the very first uh, time. And hopefully some more iron will... Uh, actually, you know what? Nah, I don't know. Okay. I, I will craft up. I'll use a little bit of the scrap metal here to craft up uh, two more iron ingots. So we at least have two more to go so we can craft up a second iron hatchet because I'm pretty sure a second iron hatchet we do have to craft in order to... Uh, what's the recipe going to be over here? I believe it's four to one. Yep, so that'll be just enough to craft up two in about eight minutes or so. So we'll have that ready to go in just a little bit. I do think there is a quest that does involve... Um, what is it? I do believe there's a quest that does involve crafting a second iron hatchet for the survival guide. So might as well knock that out 
while we are at it. And okie dokie, if we go ahead and pop on into none of the melting furnace, we should have exactly what we are looking for. We've got all the iron ingots that we need. Let's go ahead and craft up the second of these iron hatchets that we require and knock out the task and make our way over. It's a little bit of a raiding. We're gonna go and raid that base over by the farm because then we can also go ahead and do a quick little pit stop over by the watchtower in that corner of things. And then that should allow us to, uh, watch. Oh, we've got a, whatchamacallit, I think we gotta craft some spike traps at home too. So go ahead and get some of the quest points associated with that. Uh, for the survival guide but then uh what you call pop around the watchtower will get us a few points and this raid should also get us a few points along with a little bit of loot while we're at it as well which is exactly why we have a, a ton of hatchets both level one and a level two version so without further ado why don't we let's go to yogi man over here and see what yogi man has got uh, cooking and we have arrived and along with it uh, we got to figure out the best way to break our way into the space ideally while using the least amount of hatchets possible because because we do have these iron hatchets, but I'd like to save them if at all possible. So without further ado, I'm going to actually break through the walls because I think the quest that we have actually specifically does involve breaking walls. So hopefully I didn't just kind of like mess up by accidentally chopping at the door a little bit over there. And no, did not mean to do that again, but gosh darn it, I did kind of do it again. All right, let's go ahead and break into another one of these level one walls. We're going to have a ton of uh, what you call chests over here that we're going to be able uh, to break into. Wait a minute, this is not a wall. I hope I didn't just play myself. Hopefully the doors count as walls too. Well, I guess we'll find out because this right here is going to be the third of the walls that we are chopping through and woo! task is completed and we've got plenty of durability left on these two hatchets uh, to go ahead and break through the rest of these but honestly I, I don't want actually hold on isn't there like another uh, doesn't this base have like another structure over here yeah it does dude i freaking thought so all right uh honestly i'm gonna see if i have like some wooden stone just kind of chilling over here that i might be able to all right i got some limestone do i have a little bit of wood yes sir I do. I'm just going to go ahead and utilize both of these puppies and just build some, uh, what should we call? Uh, build some level one hatchets, some normal hatchets, because there's not really a point in using the better hatchets unless, like, we absolutely have to, because I'd rather save those for, like, you know, harvesting oak trees and stuff along those lines. So we'll just go ahead and continue our chippity choppity and a breaking into your property and seeing what we can get from there. I just do just want to kind of, like, find out if, is, is there, like, mm, all right, a little, little bit concerned here. We might need to actually use one of these level two hatchets to break into this is section of the base you know what it is what it is i suppose i'll break through the door i'm gonna be really upset if one of these is actually like a level one wall and i just decided to break through the wrong one no it looks like all of them were level two walls so all right we have made our way in we've still got a uh what should we call a few hatchets over there that we can use so we'll go ahead and get to breaking into all these chests and hope again some goodies via these as soon as our hatchets start to break we'll just go ahead and craft up some more uh last thing i want to do is again utilize iron hatchet durability at this moment but while we are doing that don't forget to go ahead and go down the link at the top of the description to my tv slash star say we're real live every single friday at 6 p.m eastern time I'm playing some last down earth have an absolute ball and kick it off at the weekend all right with some high octane action of the last day on earth sir Bible variety. Not just that, we got the face cam on, we got the live chat roll naked for a super awesome experience that is a little bit different from what y'all might be used to on the YouTube side of things. So definitely pop on over there because again, it is awesome that y'all can literally participate in the stream as it is going on. And hopefully I do see y'all over there doing exactly that because it's always a ball having y'all there. And it's seriously the best way to go ahead and kick off the weekend, right? Because for me, I work the nine to five Monday through Friday and it's just such an awesome feeling to be able to kick off the weekend. As soon as Friday is done, pop on stream and start having a ball. And if you guys don't know what time that, 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 that oh, English, it's a hard language. If you guys don't know what time that that stream starts in your local time so twitch.tv slash star slash schedule should be able to go ahead and help you out by letting you know exactly what time that it starts in your local time zone and once you know what time that it starts in your own local time zone you should be ready and rearing to go because that is the same time that the stream is starting every single week same time same place at twitch.tv slash star so looking forward to seeing y'all folks over there and looking forward to seeing all of the loot that these chests have inside of it so without further ado let's get to breaking in and uh, I, I here's the thing all right i have run out of durability on the normal hatchet so i'm gonna go and actually loot all of these chests because we might need to make a return trip anyway to grab everything that we got from here let's go baby part of a katana and part of a pistol will lovely or love to see those happily we'll take both of them like yeah we might need to make a return trip here anyway to grab everything that there is because there is a lot of stuff so that is kind of what it's shaping up we already got a few pistols out of here dude Ooh, hopefully something good up inside of this crate let's go baby that's what i'm talking about full durability katana that's some cash money right there baby uh what you recall yeah i'm gonna just try to take everything that i can from these chests and uh, stock 
pile our inventory. But yeah, it looks like we are going to have to make a return trip here if we want to grab everything. Ooh, and I got to come back naked to grab all the clothing that was in that chest over there. So we've got our work cut out for us a little bit. And then we've still got a few more things that we got to break into. So if we want to properly capitalize upon that, we got about three more chests all craft up. And also we got like, I don't know, we do still have like a few of these like furnaces and stuff we could break into. I'll probably try to bring like four or five more hatchets. But for now, let's go ahead and run on home and drop some of this stuff off. And I don't know, maybe we'll try to actually level up first so I can come here with like a tactical backpack and... I, I, ah, dude, I don't know. I kind of like that idea. If I could come here with a tactical backpack and actually just be prepared to loot absolutely everything possible, that might be a wee bit better of a scenario. All right, and yeah, we are like not in the biggest rush. As y'all can see, that thing does still have 12 hours left on it before it does disintegrate. So we can kind of take our time with going back there as so long as we get back there within the next 12 or so hours. We do have a little bit less time and a little bit more urgency for actually knocking out the survival guide and the season pass. So why don't we go ahead and try to get some levels for that? I'm gonna go and drop off some of this loot and then uh, we're gonna go be some busy bees. Oh, I forgot to freaking, I forgot to stop by the watchtower. That's all right, we'll make our way around to that, no worries. And you know what? There's actually another thing that we wanna do and that is build up a a ton of level two walls and here's the thing because honestly especially in the early game until you get to raiding walls literally do not matter so you know what i'm gonna do is we're gonna get a little bit cheeky lads and lassies we are going to just destroy all of the level two walls that we currently have because as we destroy them we actually get refunds for all of their resources. Why is that important? Because pretty much what this will allow us to do is it, it, it will take a few times, right? Don't, don't get me wrong here. But uh, we can actually just go ahead and upgrade some of these walls, demolish them, get refunds, and rinse and repeat as, as y'all can go ahead and see over here in the survival guide section. We should be actually gaining progress on that quest that I was talking about. And at the end of the day, dude, these walls literally do not matter until you got to start worrying about uh, what you recall, like breaking into people's bases. And honestly, we, get, we can upgrade some walls to level three. And here's the thing. We can just demolish these current level three walls that we have and potentially rebuild them if we have enough of them. So really quickly, let's do some quick maps over here. We actually should be able to do exactly that now that I'm thinking about it. So we're going to get a little bit shaky with this, lads and lassies. First things first, I'm also dying. I will allow myself to die so I can get a free refund on my hunger and uh, water, especially since we are back at base anyway. Uh, but first things first, I definitely want to go ahead and... Uh, grab a little bit of wood except i'm doing the biggest brain fart in the universe there you go and we got some wood to work with and boop we are dead let's revive and get our stuff back but now we are going to be full on hunger and water which is always a nifty thing so as i was saying ladies and gentlemen this right here is pretty much what i was scheming up we are going to have to delete some of these level three walls in order to finesse this but it will be a beautiful thing to finesse at least i think it will be unless my calculations are wrong and honestly there's definitely a chance that my calculations are wrong and that'd be a little bit on the heartbreaking side what we're gonna go ahead and do is build this wall up once upgrade it once and oh no we may have had an awful miscalculation i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do this enough times to actually fully do this three times because we okay well i gotta go ahead and demolish one of these walls long story short i am just trying to just do a smorgasbord of just getting every every I don't know, just I'm trying to get as many resources as possible, all of the above to upgrade things. And boom, you can see that we can go ahead and complete one of those tasks. But now if we want to upgrade this, we're going to need some more stone bricks and oak planks. And it all honestly depends on how much we get as a refund for some of these demolitions. And I'm slightly concerned because I don't think we will get a big enough refund to do this enough. We have enough to do two walls but I do not believe that we will have enough to actually upgrade the third wall all the way, which is a little bit of a bummer. Oy vey. Well, we appear to have slightly played ourselves, ladies and gentlemen, because we will now have less walls. Not the biggest deal in the world, but yeah, we are going to be a little bit out of proportion when it comes to these stone walls. Oh, man, because yeah, I mean, we, to upgrade this one more time, we need 10 oak planks and uh, 20 stone. And the thing is, we have one oak plank and two stone. And I don't think demolishing two walls will get us enough of what we are looking for. So unless we can get our hands on more oak planks or something, we may have just destroyed some stone walls for no reason. But you know what? It, the idea was there. You know, and that's just a cheaper way of hopefully knocking out your hopes and dreams in an efficient way. I don't know, dude. I'm, 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 I might be reaching a little bit here. But uh, regardless, but yeah, we got to get our hands on some more planks over here if we want to continue upgrading things. I should have some planks in one of these chests or another. And and all right, we should have more than enough planks to hopefully get this job done the way that I was talking about. Let's upgrade this puppy until we can go ahead and finish that quest. And I don't know, maybe we'll be able to get some oak planks to actually get one of these upgrades. Because I don't think the stone bricks will be the problem. I do think the actual oak planks will be the issue. But boom, there you have it. The sound of that task being successfully completed. So unless we can get our hands on a ton more oak planks, 
I don't know. Well, let's risk it for the biscuit, man. Let's break down the walls. We got eight stone bricks and four oak planks. And then over here, we got a six and three. So we are literally two oak planks off of finishing this. So maybe if we could get two oak planks from an event or something, we actually would be able to swing this a little bit. So we, we, we will continue trying, my friends. We will definitely continue trying. Go ahead and claim some of the charcoal. Make sure that that fireplace is going full steam ahead. And then I'll put this stuff away and we'll head out on some adventures, baby. Because I'm also running a little bit low on stone. So I think trying to grab some more stone will actually be a great idea right now. Actually, before we go and head out, there's another thing we want to do. And that is craft up some spike traps. Because bada bing, bada boom, crafting up one of those actually just got us what we were looking for in the form of that quest. Don't even need to, to, to put the darn thing down. But, you know... We we could if we wanted to but i'll actually just go ahead and uh, put some of these extra resources away and actually it looks like we're starting to run a little bit low on inventory room too i know that i could probably do a slightly better job managing all of this inventory room but also i'd rather just craft up more chests we're in the early phases of building our base anyway more storage never hurt anybody you know so i'll go away and craft up uh one more of these small boxes and uh put that puppy down right over here inside of this expanded little room that we're doing although walls are not exactly something we're too worried about so we don't even necessarily need rooms but you know what i'm going for uh and beautiful i am bringing this iron hatchet just in case that we do come across any uh anything that we might want to chop down in the form of like an oak tree and then process into the oak planks that we need since we are two oak planks short but long story short Bada bing, bada boom. Let's make our way over there. And where is there? Y'all might ask. Actually, none other than the Limestone Ridge is where our adventures are going to begin. We're going to try to do like a little gauntlet of these three mountain zones because there are a lot. We actually got to get 30 total kills in these three mountain zones. Uh, 10 in the Spire. Uh, 10 over here in the Cliff Zone. Just visiting the Ridge Zone will get us some points. Actually, visiting the other two zones will get us some points. And if we kill like five Toxic Abominations or Floaters inside of these uh, combined mountain zones, that's also another quest. Like there's so many quests that encompass the mountain zones literally every reason in the freaking book to pop by here not to mention of course the fact that hopefully all this killing will get us some points that we can then put towards the season pass and get our hands on that uh that beautiful tactical backpack baby before it is too late so without further ado let's go and try to slay as many zombies as we can and also i guess we, we can pop open some chests as we come across them too but at the end of the day let's get all sneaky dicky like always want to attack the 80 health zombies first if there are any no 80 health zombies that's all right i'll take you down with a little hit like that and then just a 1v1 the rest of you and Boom! That's what I'm talking about. We got to level up uh, coming our way. What skill have we just learned? I will happily take the bruiser skill so we can go ahead and continue increasing our maximum health. More health is always a good thing. And ooh, we got a basement we could pop into. Uh, I don't I don't know. Maybe I, maybe we'll find some oak planks down there, dude. I'm, I, I, mm, perhaps we do venture down into the depths of the basement and see what on earth is awaiting us there. Here's that fast fighter that I was slightly worried about. Ain't too worried about you anymore, boo. Uh, but we also got to kind of be ready to run the heck out of the basement just in case that there are some higher difficulty enemies there because we really do not want to die down there because we will lose everything. And I did bring the freaking saw blade mace so I could sneak attack some of the heftier enemies uh, from behind relatively safely. So just going to go, just go be a little bit cautious, you know, lads. But for now, let's continue the slaying of all of these zombies. Roman zombie, how you doing? Sending you straight back to Rome. See you later, alligator. Thank you uh, for the cloth. I will happily take that. Just continue uh, doing a lap around here. Because these are going to be some of those, e honestly, some of the easiest mountain kills that we could get. I'm also curious to see if maybe getting kills uh, inside of the depths of the basement will count towards some of these quests that we are doing. Not sure, because I think, I don't know if the basement counts as, like, technically being a part of the zone. It might just be its own zone, like, classified as the basement. But regardless, continues the easy kills on the Roman zombies. We'll go and open up some of the chests there. Oh, you freaking detected me. That's all right. I can suffer one hit before we uh, move onwards and upwards. And all right, let's go over. Oh, hold up. We got one more person over here in the form of a wolf, not a zombie, but I'll take it. It kills a kill. See you later, alligator. Should I say, I see you later, wolf, because you are definitely not an alligator. I ain't no zoologist, but I can tell you for a fact that was not an alligator. Okay, confirmed. Only two chests in this zone, but I'll take it nonetheless. And then we'll see perhaps what might await us in the depths of this basement. It also awaits us in the depths of this shelf. Hopefully something good. Ah! I'll honestly, dude, I will take that battle all freaking day long, please, and thank you. Oh, dude, I'm worried. I just know the basements can be difficult and, like, p potentially more difficult than we are prepared for, but they also could have some good loot, so I don't know. I'll, I'll leave the cloth behind. I'll also, I have a plenty of rope back at home. I'll leave that behind and just try to grab some of these slightly more valuable stuff. Let's head into the depths of the basement and wish us luck, lads and lassies, because... It's been a while, man. It's been a while. I, I, don't, I actually don't think I've ever gone into the depths of a basement as a low-level player. So it's going to be interesting to see how things unfold. Hopefully no ridiculously hard zombies are awaiting us. 
We, it's it, we're, This loading screen still technically says limestone ridge, so maybe this does continue to count as the limestone ridge. I did just see a person. Hello, person. That's not a person. That's a zombie. Hey, zombie. How you doing? You got 120 health and you do seven damage per hit. I freaking caramba, bro. But he did get a good amount of experience towards the battle pass, which, by the way, uh, we are close, man. 20 more points to level three. Uh, let's see what is down this way. Oh, dude, I, I actually see a few zombies down at the end of here. Hopefully, I can get them to attack me one by one. We, if not, I mean, we, we might actually, there's like the slightest chance. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we might want to bl bring out the saw blade mace over here. This, this might be a little bit necessary for these lads. Because I think that they will all attack us at once, yeah? Are you going to attack me, sir? There you go. Yep, they are all going to attack me at once. That's not good. We're going to have a lot of angry people coming our way. This is more angry than I freaking bargained for. And they are a lot of people attacking me all at once. Our armor seems to be holding up relatively well. Boop, there you go. Uh, take you down. A big hit and hold up. I'm going to heal up a little bit and then swap over here to the crowbar because I do not want to be using our saw blade mace on some of these weaker enemies, but I'll happily take you down. Whew. And okay, on to the next room. Dude, if there's like one of those zombies that like gas the entire room or something here, I will actually be incredibly upset. I am not prepared to tackle such a thing. Like, I like I, was, I really don't think this is even like a good idea for us to go into the depths of here. Like, I, I don't think the bang for our buck is really worth it via the basement. Not seeing anything in this room, so we got to open these two side rooms and hope for the best. And I really don't know what the best is in this situation. So, ah, we shall see. I will have that saw blade mace ready to go. Because if I'm going to fight enemies, I want to make sure that we are ready to freaking, you know, take them down. And hopefully I'm ready for whatever's on the other side of this room. Oh, goodness gracious. Quite a few zombies. And they are fast rotters, dude. Get back out of here, fast rotters. You guys are obnoxious, to say the least. Hold up one more hit on that fast rotter. And actually, beautiful. We should be able to now just take them down uh, by taking out the crowbar. And, okay, beautiful. Those are some of the tougher enemies. The rest over here are roaming zombies. And we should have access to a few chests down in these depths. And I will say the basement chest can get us some great bang for our buck. Let's go. We got to level up. Definitely deserve that after the hardships, trials, and tribulations I just went through <laughs> throughout this zone. Let's go. Maybe I'll get like a, I don't know, maybe a really good, nah, nothing really that great. I'll continue picking up that bruiser though. Uh, thank you for the increased health. Always a welcome sight for these sore eyes. And let's see what is within of these two chests. Then we'll go in and pop open that other room. But uh, man, I was hoping to save the saw blade maze, but I, I, we unexpectedly went down in the basement and that did not go to according to plan. Uh, I, ooh, I will take the batteries actually. What will I take them for? I'll give to the animal rawhide. Batteries are a really good recyclable. I'll drink the water. Not really the most important thing to bring back with me. Also the cigarettes. Eh, I don't know. That's, I know we can trade that with the trader sometimes, but I think there's better things for us to prioritize. What do we have over here? A little bit of canned food. We got a camera. That'll be nice to recycle. Uh, I'll give her to the scrap metal. Honestly, we've got a good... Um, I don't know. Scrap metal is actually pretty freaking handy. I might, I might, I might. You know what I might do? I'm just going to eat the freaking meat. And there you go. On to the next one we go. And all right. Well, we're going to see exactly what awaits us on the other side of this room. Play things by ear. Maybe I'll just run that out of here if there's something that I don't want to see. Okay. Two enemies. I, I think this is doable. A fast rotter that maybe I could get like a little sneak attack on before his friend notices. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What's your friend looking at over there, huh? What kind of friend you got there? Actually, there's no really point in us looting the, the rest of this room now that I've noticed it. So I'm not going to loot the rest of that room. There's no, like, chests or anything for us to collect. There's, like, that little ore we can mine. Honestly, not worth it. Zero out of ten would not do this basement again. And that's just kind of, like, the thing that I do urge caution. If you do see a basement appear, it does seem like a cool opportunity. But honestly, a lot of the times, it's not really worth the trouble. This time, it wasn't worth the trouble. But, hey, good to slay a few zombies. On to the next zone we go. And hopefully, we can start taking down some of those toxic abominations and floater bloaters. Because I got to kill four toxic abominations for a quest right now. And then five toxic abominations and floater bloaters in total for us to get a ton of points as well. Also, I should check the survival guides. We've definitely just completed a few kind of nifty quests. Still got to visit that freaking watchtower as well. I keep forgetting about that. Uh, I will run my way up there in no time flat. First things first, let's run out of the zone. No, never want to linger, you know, never want to lurk too long. Let's get that out of here. And uh, also really quickly, just see survival guide. How we doing? Uh, how we doing, bud? How we doing? Okay, we're up to level 19. We're making good progress, man. Honestly, if we could just kind of lofty, but even hitting level 40 and getting our hands on a guaranteed chopper fork would also be kind of nifty. But uh, we shall see. On to the yellow zone. We go. And alrighty, we have arrived at none other than the yellow zone. Let's pop our heads into here and see what nonsense and shenanigans await us that we can go ahead and get into. And remember, we gotta take out at least like 10 enemies here. I gotta take out five toxic and floater bloaters, and we're gonna float them straight up to uh, their, 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 their death, dude. We're gonna float them on, on a balloon that sends them 
straight to their death. It's like a really bad version of Up with a m much worse ending. All right, listen, I'm not I'm not the film director. I'm just the freaking uh, main actor. You know, so without further ado, let's get to acting out our will and taking out some of these schmucks. So shall we with uh, victim number one? Actually, dude, we also do have the paddle we could start using for some of these enemies once our crowbar does cease to exist. So we have quite a few options. Bless up for that crowbar that we were able to find. Definitely a nifty thing. I'm happy that we were able to uh, find that. Yellow, yellow, how you doing? Toxic spin. I'm just going to be prepared to sidestep you as soon as you get into spinny mode or I'll just kill you flat out. That works. As well, here we got a few enemies protecting. We got a gray wolf and a zombie. If the zombie is the stronger fella, it is. I will go and get the sneaky dicky attack on the zombie to try to take you out before anything further happens. And all right, I'll just go in and float like a beast. Sting like a butterfly, baby. All right, and the gray wolf is done. Let's bring the paddle out to play. Oh, that's a paddling right there, baby. I'll go and eat a little bit of raw meat as well while we are at it. I do have one room in my inventory. I'm not going to use that on like any raw resources or anything. It'll wait if we find anything good inside of some of the chests that we are popping open because there are definitely going to be some goodies awaiting us. Like some of these these rubber parts please and thank you on to the next one we go we're just gonna try to stick uh which i call around the edges of the map i guess we can venture to the middle too don't necessarily have to stick around the edges just wherever the nonsense and shenanigans await still i haven't seen any big zombies which is kind of surprising i feel oh my god dude this paddle has the most satisfying twat sound as soon as you go and bring some death down upon someone and yo there we go there we go baby that's what i'm talking about we got a saw blade mace let's go and do a big old hit on the floater bloater and then i will finish you off with a little bit of a paddling action that's a paddling that's a paddling oh that's a juke and twerk God, it's such a beautiful sound. Also, it's really nice that we can actually two hit some of the roaming zombies as well while we are at it. But beautiful, that was one of the floater bloaters that we had to take down. Hopefully, we can find some of the toxic abominations that we were looking for as well. Maybe some goodies up inside of the chest. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Eh, I wouldn't really say we got anything too great from there. The truck wheel could be good to recycle, but yeah, I'm not really too worried about recycling uh, wheels and whatnot at the moment. Might be in the future. But for now, I'm pretty happy with what we got inside of our inventory. Wish I had the lock picking seal to open that up. Because, dude, some of the goods you can find within those. Mm -mm -mm, they are delicioso. All right. Hello, roaming zombie. And what? Uh, goodbye. So you surprised I'm not getting... I'm not, not to jinx things, but surprised I'm not getting mugged by... Uh, what should we call it? More of those uh, toxic uh, uh, spitters deciding to rear their ugly faces. But again, I'm not complaining. Not trying to jinx things. I'll just continue going with the flow because the flow is going pretty good. And all right, actually... We do have a group of zombies over here, and oh, hello, hello, hello. What is this? What is this? A fast biter or a toxic spitter? Just a fast biter. All right. I'll go ahead and try to take you out. The nice thing about the paddle is that it has, like, a pretty nice range, so you can kind of, like, run away a little bit as you hit the enemies if you can kind of time things right. I don't think I really did my jo best job uh, timing things there. But, oh, good. Dude, there are so many zombies up here. What the heck? All right. Hello, toxic spitter. You are priority number one for me to deal with. All right. And you know what? I was definitely not able to juke that. But I'm not letting you get that second spit off. Don't you worry about that. How are we looking over here? We need about 100 more points until we get this. We should easily be able to get this during our mountain runs here. Uh, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, hold up. First things first. Let's eat up a little bit of jerky. Bring our health up a little bit higher. I believe there you go. Oh, Timmy the Bloat. That's not... Oh, dude, we actually got it. Oh, I don't know if I want to be fighting Timmy the Bloat right off the bat. I was hoping to get into some kind of like easier uh, battles here before we get into too much nonsense. All right. Beautiful. I will lure this roaming zombie over here. Take him out in a strategic 1v1. 1v1 me, bro. Meet me on top of rust. Boom. You're done. All right. Beautiful. And then are these just two fast biters? They are. So one of them we should be able to do 60 damage to. And then I'll just finish off with uh, one more paddle right there. Beautiful. And there's the task completed for knocking out 10 zombies over here in the yellow zone, which I will happily uh, take straight to the bank. And all right. Now, dude, I mean, if well, listen, when in Rome, dude, killed Timmy the Bloat. And that's exactly what I'm planning on doing. What up, Timmy? How's it going? How powerful are you? Okay, only seven damage for it. I forget exactly what, like, your gimmick is. Because I feel like it's supposed to be a little bit more powerful. I'll just go to use one more hit on that. Bada bing, bada boom. 15 points towards the battle pass and a few things there. And also, dude, that group of zombies down there actually died. I don't know from what. Was there, what, is there some sort of AI? Is there, like, another survivor running around the zone? That's the only thing I could think of right now as to why there are just uh, mysterious deaths. Oh, hello, good sir. How you doing? Come back here, please. Pop! And, of course, all of his armor disintegrated. We're not really going to be getting much good stuff from you. That's all right. That's just the way she goes sometimes. Uh, that, that, dude, uh, does Timmy the Blow count as a toxic abomination kill? That'd be pretty cool. How's our saw blade maze doing? Only a few more hits, man. We're only going to be able to get a few more sneak attacks off before that thing breaks, unfortunately. All right. Hello, chest. This should be the last. Oh, no. Beautiful. Dodge that like an expert. And, oh, come on, dude. I, I, my, my attack accidentally got canceled in the middle of the swing. 
And there you go, another task being nice and done. Let's see what's up inside of this chest and then make our way over uh, to the red zone. Where? Beautiful. Even more of that food. Always want to stockpile food. It's literally just it, it's just a glorified medical supply that tastes delicious, baby. You know what I mean? But all right. Uh, how are we looking over here on points? We are up to 83 out of 150. This red zone uh, should be able to finish things off, right? We'll go ahead and apply the level as we are running there, too, because I do not want to kind of sit in my inventory screen in the middle of one of these zones because these zones have proved to be a wee bit on the dangerous side. So I'd rather be uh, well prepared for the trials and tribulations that might appear but then fingers crossed we might be able to get like some sort of good perk or something out of this i mean time will tell on that but uh yeah we we shall see we shall see as we go and run over to the limestone spires pop into our inventory and what kind of skills do we have man still nothing too crazy i'll continue leveling up the home body just so we can heal a little bit more new blueprints that's cool you know i mean that's that's not not the best i mean I'll, I'll take it i'll take it i'm not complaining about new blueprints you know it's hard it's hard to complain about those how are we looking on levels up to level 22 i'll go ahead and take up everything that we got and send that straight into the inbox and uh let's go into the red zone and see what awaits. And we have arrived. Let's see where the nonsense awaits. Already see what appears to be a toxic spitter coming our way. Just want to be careful because that spit could come out to play at any point. And there you go. I was unable to sidestep it because the one unfortunate thing about the paddle, it is nice that it does 20 damage. It is not nice that it is such a slow swinging weapon. There are definitely faster weapons out in the world. And yellow, of course, is another toxic spitter already making its way over to us. I'm just going to try to like kind of run around a little bit and try to time my dodges. So hopefully if any spit does come out to play, I'm not accidentally canceling one of my super slow motion paddle attacks. Because, again, not the fastest attacker in the world. No, 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 no. I do not want this wolf to catch a whiff of us. Okay, beautiful. Because this, dude, there's so many. That's the one thing about red zones, too. There are so many talking spitters. Like, actually, goodness, freaking gracious, dude. Do I got to worry about both of y'all spitting on me now? Because I, I feel like I do. I feel like I got to worry about my armor disintegrating. Oy vey. Yeah, we're not looking to be in good shape, lads. I mean, we still got like 20% or so left on the armor durability, which is all right. But that's the one thing I hate about the freaking red zones. These toxic spitters will run up on you from cross country, man. They do not give a hoot where you are, who you are, or what you are doing. They will just go ahead and roll up on you, despite the fact that you cannot even see them on the map quite yet, man. Talk about annoying, but it is what it is. We got to roll with the punches. Yo, what the heck? I hear a zip gun going on over here. Uh, I might... Do I want to... I, I kind of want to help the floater bloater here. Actually, I'll see how this goes. Because, realistically speaking, if I can just get the finishing blow on this floater bloater, I'll just do that. Let's get one more hit off and... Boom! I'll steal that kill. Hello, Kronos, please. Will you give me your zip gun or will you run away like a little pansy? Oh, I forgot. No, just kidding. It will disintegrate in your hands! literally the most obnoxious thing in the universe nobody can drop anything anymore man back in the day survivors would actually drop stuff that they drop i don't know when it changed but gosh freaking darn is it obnoxious and it's uh okay this one's a rabbit wolf i was about to say dude no way another toxic abomination or toxic spitters running up on us from halfway across the world no no this one's not sailing the seven seas this is just the the, the friendly neighborhood wolf well, I wouldn't really say friendly. That might be the wrong adjective. But you know what I mean? Friendlier than some of the uh, alternatives, so to speak. All right. Let's continue uh, roaming around this zone because there should definitely be at least a few more of the big boy zombies awaiting us. Here we got a rabid wolf. Knowing my luck, I will get attacked in the middle of this sneak attack. No. Beautiful. That's a paddle and I'll take it down. I'll eat your meat and onwards we... Goodness freaking gracious. That is the big one. All right. Goodbye. Sayonara. Don't care about this zone. Nope. I'm leaving. Bye. I'll come back to the red zone because but first we gotta run away to the local yellow zone and then come back to the red zone to reset this zone because i'm not fighting the big one dude that's not literally working although i'm not gonna lie we do have the baseball bats where we might actually be able to finesse a big one kill i kind of would want to get like the evasion perk first but there's actually a realistic timeline where we like could actually kill the big one pretty early on in the game thanks to those baseball bats we got with the bleeding ability but all right Back to the red zone we go. Beautiful. It appears that we were able to lose the big one that was on our tail. So now time for us to slowly walk towards the center of the map. And look at that already. A toxic spinner running up on us. Who would have freaking thunk? Not me. Just kidding. I thunked this all along. But whatevs. See you later. Side now. We need like 30 more points to get the freaking tactile backpack that I've been hyping up for like the past two episodes. Uh, but for now, beautiful. Finally, a sneak attack that I can get off on one of these zombies. Feels like forever, thanks to all of these toxic spitters that are constantly running up inside of our business. 
But finally, we can get back to sneak attacking these enemies first. Goodness gracious, I sent that head flying. Swing, bada, bada, swing, should I say. All right, though. I'm uh, not seeing any chests, not seeing any zombies along this uh, map. This is kind of like the best way to kind of clear through a zone as well. At least I think it is where you kind of like do it in like a giant zigzag, like a glorified zigzag pattern pretty much. And it pretty much lets you get coverage of like the entire zone, which is kind of nifty. It is also a suspiciously calm zone thus far. I have only encountered one toxic spitter. Significantly less than past toxic spitter situations. I feel as if things are good. Yeah, there you go. Already, already, dude. It was going so well. And then it stopped going well. Why? Because things can't go well around these parts. It's not allowed. Die. But all right, I'll take you down nonetheless. And this is a little bit unfortunate because I do not have a melee weapon. Uh, what I could do is I, I mean, not really. You know what I could do, actually? Uh, as long as I don't die in the middle of this zone, which is definitely risky. What kind of weapons do we have to choose from here? I'm just going to grab a cleaver and just put a cleaver to use, man. I like the cleaver. A little bit faster acting. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick with that. Still want to save the, uh, the saw blade maze for pure sneak attacks on the hardest hitting zombies. The healthiest zombies, I should say, that have the most health to spare. Just the best situation for those since they do have so much freaking health. And I'd rather just do a good chunk of damage to that health before even engaging. And actually, it looks like there might be one such a zombie right up ahead. Yes, uh, a toxic abomination. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and get a little uh, sneaky dicky with you and then bring out the cleaver and try to finish you from there. He will do a little bit of damage to us, but that's all right. Nothing that we can't handle. Sayonara. Toxic abomination and beautiful. Let's bring... Uh, I'm gonna eat that and actually we just freed up an uh, empty inventory slot because we ran out of the jerky that we brought along originally to tag along during our nonsense here and we now have also I gotta say dude I really do prefer the cleaver over the oh no we smell bad that's not good we, we might actually need a freaking dip dude this might not be the art I like I, I, I forget if we can still sneak attack while we have the yellow smell or if we can't. I know for sure when we're red smelly, we're not going to be able to do anything resembling a sneak attack. But for now, like, it actually might be doable. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. If I can no longer sneak attack, though, we might want to dip out of here. We'll definitely be keeping that glue with me. No way am I leaving that behind. Uh, did I loot this up? Okay, I did. I mean, uh, perfect perfect time to tell right here. Can I sneak up on this zombie? Or uh, Okay, yeah. All right, so as long as we're at yellow, we'll be good to go. But definitely something to keep our eyes upon because it, I, I, I got to be really careful, dude. Like one more. Oh, goodness gracious, dude. That is a lot of talk. Are, are you kidding me? This many toxic spinners? This is, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Look at the nonsense that I got to put up with, man. Oy vey, oy vey, oy vey. Hold up. I just want to try to like kill the weakest links here. Okay, we are now red level smelly. Red alert, red alert. This is definitely red alert. Oh, and I am more naked than ever before. That's all right. I'm killing y'all folks if it's the last thing that I do. If you do this to me, I do that to you. Let's get back out of here. I mean, uh, I mean, may maybe we'll stick around. I don't know. I do have to find some clothes. Uh, we are in a bit of a predicament here, aren't we? Yeah, we kind of are. Uh, I do believe, however, we hit level four, baby. Woo! That's what we're talking about. And that's what we're talking about with slaying these toxic spinners. Luckily, the armor I had was pretty much the worst armor in the game. So it's not like we're actually losing out on that much. So as long as we got the like food to get us through this, Onwards and upwards, baby. I don't gotta sneak attack everybody that I run across. I can just sneak attack some of them. We'll make do. Let's finish looting up this freaking red zone, especially if there are gonna be some toxic abominations and floater bloaters that we can capitalize upon killing. Actually, while we're at it, dude, I uh, never mind. My inventory is full. I don't. Okay, well, I don't really want to make room in my inventory just to pick some berries. Hello, hello, big boy. This is what I was looking for. This is one of the folks that have got to die at my hands. As long as reinforcements, as long as the cavalry doesn't come flying in, this is actually the perfect situation for what we are looking for. Oh, also, by the way, you know what else I just realized? See you later, alligator. Uh, what should I call? I should probably leave a slot in my inventory for the leftover food to actually get the cans because eventually we'll be able to recycle the cans, which is definitely a nice thing. I still have this level up I gotta apply. Let's apply that and hopefully not die. Um... Let's just get, yeah, let's just get less thirsty. Whatever, man. I'll roll with it. Just don't want to look at my inventory screen for too long because I fully anticipate, like, dying, <laughs> you know? But all right, all this food that we've gathered throughout the previous zones is pretty much just keeping us going at this point. Um, oh my God, dude, so much freaking wildlife here. Yeah, it's pretty much just keeping us going at this point. We only got six foods left, so I think that might be like, what? Like one more big boy encounter? before things kind of get derailed a little bit too hard. Beautiful stuff right there that we were able to collect. And I mean, our inventory is already getting kind of full, so it's going to be a good time for us to dip not too long here. But I do want to find a few more Toxic Abominations if we can, man. Seriously, taking down some more Toxic Abominations would be huge for the program. But 
All in all, I'm not seeing any more zombies in the zone, man. Oh, just kidding. A diseased wolf, dude. Oh my God, hold up. No, dude, this thing does 30 damage per hit. Nah, man, I'm leaving. I am actually out of here, dude. I'm I'm out, I'm out, I'm leaving. Nope, not. I'm not fighting a diseased wolf. Get that guy out of here. I'm out. Ooh, an airdrop did appear though. Ooh, and beautiful, the oak clearing. Oh, dude, I wish I had the energy for this. I'm like running too low on energy to visit all of these locations. The eternal problem. Everything pops up when your energy is too low, man. Why does it gotta be like this? Uh, all right, well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go and claim some more prizes out of the survival guide because we most definitely can do exactly that, please. And uh, thank you. And then, I mean, all that we're missing out on here, uh, oh, what should I call? I gotta upgrade one more wall to level three. I'll be able to do that with that oak, actually, which will be really nice. I still gotta visit the watchtower. That's by the oak thing, so I can actually go over there. Not gonna be able to visit the infected forest to level 35 for whatever, the, whatever reason that that's now a thing. Uh, but you know what I could still do? How close are we? Two more toxic abominations, man. Two more of those guys. One of which I believe should be at, uh, yeah, at a mountain area. Man, I might need to come back to this red zone or something. That, that's the best way for us to get a few more quests knocked out here. I just don't have the energy to do it. All right. Well, right now, best play for us. We, we just got to run home. I'll, I'll watch the ad get some energy, man. And beautiful. We've got the energy we need. Let's run home. Maybe the healer will be back home and we'll be able to talk to the healer and be like, yo, I'll take another energy, uh, energy reset if I can. This airdrop's disappearing in three minutes. So actually, I don't think we'll even be able to hit up that airdrop if we wanted to, which actually is a huge bummer, but whatever. That's just the way she goes, I suppose. We'll have to, we'll have to live with that. Uh, but let's go home, drop off all this loot that we have collected and take things from there. Oh. <gasps> Let's go. The healer's here. Do you have the energy thing that I need? No, you don't, you freaking weenie. Are you kidding me? Bro, the one time I need a full energy reboost from you and you can't even give it to me, I am at that. That hurts, dude. That hurts. That actually hurts my soul. Whatever, let's put this stuff away. And also, before we get into any more hijinks or nonsense, let's remember most important of all that we've got a tactical backpack to claim, ladies and gentlemen. The ever-elusive free-to-play tactical backpack that will now open up a world of opportunity that it is not easy for a free-to-play player to see. Look at all the inventory room. Knowing my luck, dude, we're gonna get attacked by someone with a VSS in one of these red zones coming up. Hopefully, I didn't just jinx it. So I'm a little bit, little bit scared, but I am also thrilled to be in this situation that we are in bring in the cleaver with i'm gonna probably try to craft up a set of this armor here just gotta get some grass cloth and rope and beautiful that should do the trick for us to go ahead and craft up a set of this i mean i'll take it man it's better than nothing it's just some form of protection that we can utilize which definitely it's it just better to have and it's really cheap to craft up lisa's basic armor now if we wanted to we could get a little bit extreme introduce uh some leather along with some glue to actually reinforce this stuff a little bit more. And actually, that's going to be a really good idea for us to invest to down the line. But first, we got to actually get that leather. And for that to happen, we got to build up this tanning rack, which will require a little bit of iron, which we currently uh, do not have. We can go ahead and continue working through. Uh, we're not going to do that right now, but definitely something we want to knock out in the not too distant future that will 100% come incredibly in handy. What also what will come in handy is these carrots, man. Heals us up about 15 health, which is exactly what we're looking for. Honestly, let's take all those carrots we got and put the jerky away also put away all this other stuff that we have just collected and with the iron hatchet and saw blade mace i say we hop over and uh, this newfound uh tactical backpack as well and we still got the saw blade mace ready for a sneak attack i mean let's go back to a red zone try to hunt down a few more toxic abominations because like we really need to kill like two more toxic abominations would actually be perfect inside of a red zone and then after that hop over to the north visit that watchtower and hopefully we can get at least one more level here in the season pass before the season does come to an end that would be perfect because then we at least get i mean a chance at a grenade launcher and a minigun or a piece of kevlar armor all great things <gasps> that is also the sound of something appearing that is a ooh, an airdrop I will not be able to walk there in time, but YOLO, man, I'll watch some more ads for the boys and girls. And about a few ads later, we've got some energy to play with. Let's put that to use and head over to none other than this airdrop, collect some of the rewards that are gonna be awaiting us here. Maybe even find a toxic abomination or floater bloater. And then we gotta head over to, I don't think it matters if we go to the red zone or the yellow zone, just I think there's a better chance of finding a toxic abomination in the red zone, which is why I'm tempted to go that way but whatever gets us wrapping up these quests then we'll go up north into the watchtower and with this newfound inventory room we might even be able to uh what we call visit the uh the, the the base we raided on the way back and grab the, re the rest of the loot from there and then we got a new season starting in like literally an hour so we'll be able to actually have another opportunity like i mentioned earlier at getting another tag dude are you freaking kidding me are i forgot i smell awful no 
This is an unfortunate term of, uh, turn of events, lads and lassies. Incredibly unfortunate. All right, so as soon as we spawn in, we're gonna be getting attacked by these toxic spitters. Now that I am aware of that, I'm gonna be ready to go to war and heal the heck out of myself. And of course I'm being spit on, but guess what, baby? When you're already this smelly, it don't even matter, die, baby, die. And uh, beautiful, we got a few taken down right there. Uh, of course, man, of course I forgot to take a shower. And by take a shower, I mean die, but that's all right. That, that, those are the consequences. I have to live with, with all this durability we got left on the cleaver. I think we'll be able to do this just fine. Okay, well, we got a fast fighter over here, which should not be uh, too difficult. As long as we continue taking down these enemies in 1v1 situations, like, are, like, it's not ideal. But we'll do it, man. We'll do it. And I'm not even worried about that. Because the airdrops don't even have, like, the most difficult zombies in the world. They can have, like, toxic abominations on floater blowers if you're unlucky. But so far, we appear to be lucky. Although, I do see on my minimap what appears to be a bigger enemy right by the airdrop. Could that be none other than a floater bloater? Would you look at that? Well, all right, sir. It appears as if you have, uh... Uh, c come up to the plate. You have accepted my challenge, and I appreciate that, because guess what? It's not much of a challenge, because guess what? I'm definitely coming out on top. See you later, sayonara, floater, bloater. Ow, okay, I did take a little bit of damage there, but that's all right. We can roll with those punches, take you out, and then boom, boom, run into the airdrop, and hopefully something good awaits us. Big money, no whammy, 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 big money, no whammy. Woo! Let's go, baby. Skull Crusher is, again, one of my favorite weapons when it comes uh, to doing sneak attacks to take down enemies, whether it be a Skull Crusher or a Saw Blade Maze. Two perfect weapons for a sneak attack to capitalize upon the triple damage that they can bring to the table because you will be doing major damage with that multiplier. And let's go. I wish the level up would freaking heal our smelliness as well, but that does not appear to be. Let's go, Hacker Park! I will definitely be taking that. Thank you very much. Why? It's extremely rare. I don't know. Ex oh, hello. There's a person with military armor. Not even going to fight you. You're not going to drop anything after I kill you. So let's just leave that airdrop location, shall we? And since we smell so horrifically bad and we are running, running so low on energy, I think our best play right now is to honestly go to the yellow zone and just try to find a floater bloater here because a if, if you smell this bad and you head to the red zone it's actually asking for the big one it's appear and come knocking at your doorstep but really not trying to see the big one just want to take down one more floater bloater and toxic abomination in these zones to go ahead and get one more level uh, on the survival guide i don't think i will necessarily be able to get the uh chopper fork all the way up at like level 40 but that's right still plenty of great goods we were able to get from the survival guide and plenty of opportunities that will present itself and oh my good we're already getting spit at by two toxic spitters this is exactly what i was talking about Oh, man utter nonsense and my weapon is broken and i am not punching to death flow like a beast like a butterfly baby dr spitter you ain't got jack diddly squad on me and beautiful he is now very dead and all right i'll just equip the sledgehammer man i'll put this to use man if anyone wants to run up on me i will run up on you you know what i mean what a float of bloat how you doing this is exactly the person that i was looking for let's go ahead and take you down and without further ado i will put the finishing touches on you with my fist flow like a beast stick like a butterfly see a floater bloater another task has been completed i'll eat up some of those carrots and continue looting up uh some of this stuff and also how are we looking on our next level here we need 35 more points so honestly just going through and killing the toxic uh spitters that run up on us throughout the zone should be more than enough to get us the rest of the points that we need because we get like six points per one of these i will definitely get run up by uh even more of these fellas two hits to the fast fighters fast fighters get us like four points that's 10 points that we got right there there should be plenty of zombies that we can kill in these zones to get the rest of the points we need and hit that next level on the battle pass as well before that thing decides to reset let's just try to get one of these okay i, I want just like one of these zombies to attack me at a time so i'm not fighting a, 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 a battle on two fronts you know what i mean but I think we did a good job at luring them over. Just again, just making sure to lure them over one by one. And this is more than doable. Not ideal to be using my sledgehammer on these folks. But you know what? It is what it is. I can definitely live with it. And all right, we got a fast biter. We got a roamer coming our way. See ya. What I want to be. And boop. oh my God, I definitely would not want to be you. I just saw that man enter a different dimension. Goodness gracious, I'm so sorry. I know that I wanted to kill you, but I, I didn't necessarily want to send you to a whole different dimension. That is kind of extreme, even for me. What's inside of the bag? Big money, no whammy. Let's go, baby. Some good stuff to be had. Look at that. All that room in the inventory for us to have it as well. Hello, Emery. How's it going? Have you met my friend, the Sledgehammer? No. Allow me to reintroduce myself. And, oh, I'll actually take those seeds. Go ahead and uh, grow some of those puppies. And, yeah, I, I'll, dude, I'll, I don't know. I'll, I'll take these. Actually, why not? I, I got to use them to break into a base a little bit later. So sure, that works out. Uh, how are we looking here? How many points do I need? Like five? 11. 11 more points, dude. There's got to be at least like three more zombies I could kill in the zone, right? 
Or has my smelliness already attracted everybody? Nah, nah, not even. Ah, hold up. Get out of here, Gray Wolf. I don't get points from Gray Wolves. I need zombies. Zombies, I say. Beautiful. Fast biters need like two more of you. I actually see a roamer coming our way. All right. I literally need like five more points. If I can just get jumped by one more toxic spitter, that would literally be incredible. And then we can see what is inside of this chest. And hopefully, luck is on our side. Fast biter. I literally. I'm gonna be like one point short, aren't I? I'm literally one point short. Three points short. All right, literally just one more zombie. There has to be one more zombie in the zone. I mean, while we're at it, I might as well open up the chest. You know, when in Rome. When fighting roaming zombies, when in Rome. Hope we find some good stuff in the chest. Big money, no whammy. Eh, oh, actually, you know, I'll get rid of the hatchet. Definitely picking up the glue. We're gonna need that glue for upgrading our armor and or even weapon upgrades down the line if we want to be thinking that far down the line. But come on, man. Just one, one more fast biter is all I have to fight at this point for these three points. And knowing my luck, I will somehow not find this fast biter. Because my luck in the free-to-play account so far... <laughs> definitely have had better luck before. And it looks like we may have cleared out this entire zone of zombies. And I have no energy left. So, gosh, freaking darn it, man. Ah, can I kill a deer and get some points? Come back, deer! Nah, that thing's definitely outrunning me. Well... Uh, I, I suppose I can, like, walk to another zone unless, like, an enemy can spawn into here. Beautiful! An enemy! No, it's a person! I want zombies, darn it! Not people! Give me zombies! Come back here, I'm punching you to death. Yeah, I don't get points for killing you, because of course I don't. Did these people drop, like, nothing good anymore? All right, I... To the green zone! And all right, after watching yet another ad, we're running to the limestone ridge, and we are just trying to hunt down, like, literally one more zombie so we can get this next level, claim this chest, and then from there, I don't think we're gonna be able to get any more prizes in this season pass, but we are more than prepared for the next season pass, especially because now that we are level 15, because we passed level 15 in, what, the last episode? We, we, we always will have the season pass available to us because you have to be level 15 to access the season pass and to access the calendar So gonna be really nice to have that but without further ado Let's arrive inside of the limestone ridge and murder like the closest nearby zombie Can I just like punch you to death sir? Yeah, okay, let's go flow like a beast thing like a butterfly baby Nah, baby, nah, baby, nah All right, I gotta give one more kill after that and then I will have the level up that I have been searching for Let's go That's what I'm talking about. I will happily claim you I will not be hitting level 8 anytime soon, at least in like the next hour before this thing resets. So without further ado, let's go into our inbox and let's pop this puppy open and hope for the best. Big money, no ammo, big money, no ammo, big money, no ammo, big money, no ammo, big money, no ammo. Let's go! Do it! We got carbon composites! Wow! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Carbon composites, carbon composites, and a granite launcher! Oh, we are going to be ready for some fun, ladies and gentlemen. Some fun that's going to be coming in the next episode of Last Day on Earth in our free-to-play series. Because with that said, with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is going to start putting an end to this episode of Last Day on Earth. Thank you guys for holding for watching. And actually, before we leave, let's go over because the survival guide will probably be done by the time that we return and take those level 25 prizes that we were looking for as well in that beautiful saw blade mace also a blueprint as well which i'm pretty happy about but that's gonna start wrapping it up for me for now thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya